Again, a very warm welcome to the program. Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni has downplayed reports of tension between Kampala and King Kigali following a meeting between uh, him and Rwandan President uh, Paul Kagame. Mr. Kagame was on a one-day state working visit to Entembe. Mr. Museveni held a closed-door meeting with Mr. Kagame and his delegation that included ministers and senior security officials. They included Foreign Affairs Minister Louis Mushi Kiwabo and the head of the Rwandan Intelligence, Major General Nzabam Wita. The purpose of this visit was to formalize the warming of the relations that had been initiated on the margins of the January African Union Summit in Addis Ababa through an informal meeting. I recall that the relationship between the two men who once fought together in the Ugandan re rebellion that allowed Museveni to come to power in 1986 was tainted a few months ago. The Rwandan media has repeatedly accused President Museveni of maintaining a rebellion designed to overthrow the Rwandan president. I'm referring to information published by one of these newspapers, the Ugandan Daily Red Pepper, which revealed in October 2017 the plans of Yoweri Museveni to overthrow Paul Kagame. An, an accusation that actually earned the editorial leadership of Red Pepper a resounding trial in Uganda. Well, joining us now from Kampala, Uganda, is uh, Charles Mwanguya, a social economic analyst. Charles Welcome to the program. When um, President Museveni and uh, Kagame met on Sunday, they shrugged rumors about uh, the deteriorating ties between Rw Rwanda and Uganda, uh, which have been widely reported. Um, what's the basis for these so-called tensions between the two, uh, the two nations? Charles. We can't be able to tell uh, with precise exactness on uh, what is exactly going on, especially when the leaders uh, of the two countries and their government broadly come out and deny that there's any problem. But as you might already be aware, the relations between Uganda and Rwanda drop from way back. And they are very closely intertwined. Uh, there are many people in the Rwandan government who have uh, lived and grown up or actually were born in Uganda. They have served in Ugandan government position. And therefore, the depth of relations that exist between Rwanda and Uganda are very deep. That, on its own, means that there are going to be disagreements and tensions that emerge. And we think that, uh, for what, from what we know, this particular uh, current round of uh, what appears to be tensions or what some people have called stresses in relation between the two stem from exactly the same um, issues that have emerged before. Um, you might already be aware that uh, sometime back, sometime last year, actually November last year, there were some arrests that were made in Kampala of uh, senior police officers accused of uh, kidnap and uh, uh, illegally handing over uh, refugees from Rwanda, which whom Rwanda calls dissidents escaping from justice in Kigali. Charles, are, are the meetings that the president skipped in both countries linked in any way? Um, president Museveni cancelling the AU meeting and uh, President Kagame earlier cancelling the ESC summit. Kigali gave an explanation for why President Kagame couldn't make it for the ESC meeting in Kampala. Uh, summit in Kampala. He was hosting the Zambian president, Ed Galungu, at that time. Then President Pierre Museveni misses the meeting in uh, Kigali just last week, the other week, and he sent his uh, foreign affairs minister. Now, the foreign affairs minister of Uganda, uh, Sam Spencer, is highly regarded and respected in President Museveni's government. So if you want to send someone who represents you and to demonstrate that you're not smart in the meeting, Sam Spencer obviously becomes a choice of representative who wouldn't ordinarily shouldn't create any doubt. Yes, people, presidents, and this meeting, people have been asking about the Kigali meeting, and they're saying uh, all the neighbors uh, to Rwanda, uh, not President Kabila, not President Magufuli, not President Museveni, attended all of them missed the meeting. But sitting in a pattern where there have been tensions that have come out in the public and been reported about, obviously, the meeting of those meetings by either president would certainly create room for speculation. And that President Paul Kagame would choose to do a snap visit to Kampala.
Kampala shortly after the meeting in Kigali, uh, kind of uh, affirmed the suspicion that something was wrong and that the two leaders are trying to pass it up. Charles, let us talk about infrastructure. When you look at the infrastructural projects in the region, how will the relations between these two countries affect uh, the progress of infrastructural uh, development in the region? Significantly. The challenge that the two countries uh, and the rest of their East Africa, of our East African neighbors face, is that these are poor, weak economies. They do not have the resources on their own fund these projects. So North Rwanda, North Kampala would decide that we're going to run this project. We have our resources. We'll do it the way we want. They are running to look for um, um, loans or credit from uh, international lenders. And to get these projects running, they need to be moving together. They need to be uh, having a common understanding. Any delay puts doubts in the mind of the, of, of, of the lenders and delays these projects further. Uh, Uganda has run on uh, the standard gauge railway. Initially, uh, it was supposed to work on a railway. They have a memorandum of understanding under the coalition of the willing to move the railway from Mombasa uh, through Kampala up to Kigali. Then after some time, decided to change the routing and focus on the Juba route because it makes, according to government officials, better economic sense. Uh, what the type of uh, construction is going, what standard is, is, is being followed, obviously, causes, uh, uh, raises questions among the people watching what well, I'm afraid, uh, Charles, this is how much we can take. Uh, many thanks uh, for joining us on the program. Charles, uh, social economic analyst, speaking to us there from uh, Kampala. You're watching the morning call. I look now at what's making the headlines in other parts of the continent.